you don't want to hear I my mean, I don't you too, too, but we really don't need to see what's no, about to happen here. No, no, Don. I love you, Don. No, right, 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 no. Good. Keep it closed. All right, all right. Keep it closed. All right. We have to be in a sterile wanna, place. Can we, can we please, please not uh, give him shots, by the way? And then uh, everything's pre-sterilized, ready to go. So we're good. Okay, okay, I'm cutting you off after this one. Should I cut him off? Is this going to hurt? It's not going to hurt me. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to New Unrealist. Things have not been going well over at CNN of late. Uh, they had an awful week. You know, stuff like the whole uh, Fredo thing with Chris Cuomo, uh, April Ryan's bodyguard hulking out on a reporter, and this story was part of the bad week. You know, the story, you know, that Chris Cuomo's uh, fellow host there, Don Lemon, is being sued for, well, let, let me word this as delicately as I can to uh, dance around the naughty speak uh, algorithms. Dustin Heiss claims in a lawsuit that during the summer of 2018 on July 15th, he went to a bar in Sag Harbor, New York. Uh, you locals, you know what I'm talking about. The, the bar was called Murph's Backstreet Tavern. So uh, Heiss went there with the uh, owner and co-workers of the bar that, and restaurant that he worked at you know, after they closed for the night. And Heist claims in his lawsuit that he saw Don Lemon at uh, Murph's Backstreet Tavern. He recognized him as the uh, CNN host, and he offered to buy him a vodka drink called a lemon drop. You see what he did there? He wanted to, to buy him a lemon drop. So Heist says that, you know, Lemon, he refused uh, his offer to buy him a drink, and uh, that was that. Heist says then that uh, a little bit later on, Don Lemon approached him inside the tavern, put his hand down the front of Heist's uh, shorts, proceeding to rub his, uh, you know, what's that word for the thing you find down a, a, a man's shorts? Uh, let's use the chiclet romance novel language. Uh, his member was rubbed. So at that point, Heist says that uh, Lemon withdrew the hand, and then he ran the two fingers under Heist's nose. And this is when Heist says that, you know, Don Lemon asked him if, well, uh, how shall I put this again? He asked him if he liked P or D. Uh, boy parts or girl parts, if you catch my drift. Uh, needless to say that Heist uh, says he was, quote, shocked and humiliated. And you'll see why uh, as we go further on. Now, Don Lemon and CNN, they categorically deny the claims in the lawsuit. I mean, hashtag me too. I mean, it's starting to sound that way. Anyway, the problem with this story up until now is that it's uh, basically a he said, uh, he said situation. High says Don Lemon did uh, this thing and Don Lemon says he did not. Well, that changed yesterday. Fox News interviewed uh, Dustin Heiss's uh, former boss, the manager of the restaurant slash bar that he worked at, who was there on the night in question, July 15th, 2018. The man's name is George, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but it's uh, George Ganellis, I'm going to say. The manager of the uh, Old Stove Pub at the time. And uh, Ganellis says that after work, he and other fellow employees, after they closed the uh, the place down, they went to Murph's as uh, it's open late and it's, you know, one of the few places you can go to get some after-hours drinks. You know, like like they said, they, they closed down themselves, so they, they didn't have a lot of options. Ganellis tells Fox News that Heiss approached Lemon to strike up a conversation, which Lemon declined at that uh, Heiss then offered to buy Don Lemon the drink, which he also declined, consistent with the claim in Heiss's lawsuit. Ganella says that a few months, uh, moments later, that Lem Lemon came up to them, just like uh, 
the claim in the lawsuit. And his recollection is that Don Lemon came around the corner to stand face to face with him and Heiss. He says that uh, Lemon stood up uh, by a pole face to face with Dustin Heiss, the uh, plaintiff in a lawsuit. Ganella says that he turned around and was standing between the two men. And then he hears Lemon say to, to Heiss, So you like me? Is that why you're bothering me? And uh, Ganella says that Heiss replied, Nah, man, I just want to say what's up. And uh, Ganellis then tells Fox that he doesn't recall what Lemon said word for word, but he characterizes it along the lines of, uh, do you like me? Is that why you're bothering me? Because uh, you want to F me. And uh, Ganella says that uh, Lemon, in his opinion, he appeared pretty drunk. Now, as you saw in that clip that I included at the uh, start of the video, uh, Lemon does have a, <laughs> a history of getting drunk uh, at bars as... He was there at that New Year's Rock and e or New Year's Eve uh, thing on CNN, and everybody's pretty sure he was drunk on the air in, the, in that particular instance. But this is when Ganellis uh, corroborates Heiss's claim in the lawsuit that Don Lemon put his hand uh, in Heiss's board shorts, uh, grabbed his, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go the Illinois route and say, uh, you, know, you know, he grabbed his something, uh, asked if he liked P or D. Again, use your imagination there. Ganella says that at the time he laughed at the incident, he mocked Dustin Heiss about it. And this is where the uh, shame and humiliation comes in. Uh, you know, calling him gross because of uh, what Lemon had done to him. Ganella says that Heiss didn't think it was funny. And he says that Heiss was in shock asking him, Bro, did that just happen? That was disgusting. And uh, Ganella says that at the time he he did not think it was unusual, you know. Uh, he, he, he got to understand this guy, he's living and working in the Hamptons. He runs a restaurant there. He he just thought it was one of those th crazy things that happened, uh, you know, in the Hamptons nightlife. So Ganella says that Heiss, he continued to work for him for the rest of the summer uh, that year. And that Heiss was regularly teased about the incident, uh, including by him, his co-workers. That he f and that now he feels bad that as his boss, he was making fun of uh, Heiss over what Lemon did to him. And, like, he he says he feels bad about mocking Heiss about it. Ganella says that Murph's Backstreet Tavern was packed that night and that others were there to witness what happened. So he feels sure that other people saw what transpired. And Ganella says that, you know, what happened, you know, was such a well-known thing in the Hamptons, uh, you know, uh, bar and restaurant uh, employees crowd there that Heiss was... He was well known as a bartender in, in, uh, at his place, and that bartenders at other establishments, when they saw, whenever they would see Heist coming to their to their bar or their, you know, their lounge, they, they or their club, they they'd offer to buy him a, a lemon drop vodka drink to make fun of him. You, you see that lemon drop? I mean, to me, this explains why, according to a source close to Dustin Heist's attorney, that the uh, lemon was actually trying to settle this case for a six uh, six figure dollar amount before the talks broke down. Now, for those of you who've never been to Southampton or East Hampton out in Long Island or to Sag Harbor in particular, let me just paint you a picture to make it so you can uh, grasp what, what, what this, what's out there. In addition to being the summer destination of the New York City uh, elite uh, where, the, where the homes can be in the multi-million dollar range, and mind you, a lot of these homes are, set, are actually second homes only used on weekends or in the summer. And uh, here is Don Lemon in a, in a photo taken at a soiree, also at Sag Harbor. You know, the photo taken by, uh, look, at Juanita Scarlett, a former aide to New York Democrat Governor Andrew Cuomo, a brother of his CNN colleague Chris Cuomo. Also tagged in this photo are Juanita Scarlett's husband, New York Daily News columnist uh, Errol Lewis. You have CNN contributor uh, Margaret Hoover. Disgraced lawyer Michael Avenatti. You remember, he was a frequent guest on CNN back then. Oh my, oh my. There he is, the host of this Sag Harbor soiree, Don Lemon himself. So cozy. You know, just just the, cl the, the club there. The aide to the mayor, the Daily News columnist, the CNN contributor, the anti-Trump lawyer, uh, and Don Lemon having a grand old time out there at Sag Harbor. You know, but places like the Hamptons and... Sag Harbor, uh, let's focus on that in particular, are not just the playground of the establishment rich and famous, it's also notoriously friendly to people of, uh, let's just call it 
men of Don Lemon's persuasion who enjoy you know, playing with other men. Oh yes, if if you stumble into the wrong bar out there, you might be you might be in for quite a surprise if you're not looking for that kind of attention. You know, my opinion. You know, Lemon uh, mistook Heiss's fanboying, trying to buy him a drink as an advance. I mean, Lemon probably liked the look of the guy, and he flirted with him in that way that uh, apparently he does. So that's uh, how we arrive here at this hashtag Me Too moment. Look, I don't know what happened that night, but, you know, this apparent, well, this already looks bad with the former boss coming out and saying, yeah, this happened, I was there. But if what uh, Gunella says is true and other uh, bartenders and uh, employees were teasing Heist for the, over this for the rest of the summer that year, this was last, last summer, remember, offering to buy him lemon drops, it seems to me it would be easy to go to the bars that Heist frequented last summer and ask those bartenders and employees if they did in fact tease Heist that way and why and what they knew. If they answer that it was because of this incident with Don Lemon, I gotta tell you, for the you know the preponderance of evidence standard that of proof that they have in civil lawsuits, which is basically in a civil lawsuit, all you gotta do is show that basically better than 50-50 uh, chance that something happened to you know to meet that bar. I gotta say, Heiss's claim is looking pretty good. If you can already count on the testimony of a direct eyewitness who was there with them and backed up by others around the Hamptons uh, bar slash restaurant worker scene saying that they heard about the uh, incident and they were giving grief over it, you know, for the rest of the summer. So with, with, with the specificity of the whole thing about buying him the lemon drop drinks. Anyway, that's all for this new realist. If you want to help the channel out, hit like for this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, but click on the notification bell too. Set it to all if you actually do want to keep up with newer content. Because the way YouTube works now, just you know, hitting subscribe doesn't really do much without the all setting on that bell. But for that matter, if you have a BitChute account, subscribe there too. I mean, expanding onto other platforms, it's a great way to lessen your favorite uh, creator's uh, messages being filtered by one gatekeeper. Now, if you want to be more direct and support the operation with your hard-earned uh, dollars instead of uh, buying lemon drops, follow the links below to uh, subscribe, star, and PayPal, or just use the green tip pledge button if you watch this on BitChute. Now, if you've reached this point and you, know, you haven't run to the bathroom to retch after several minutes of me describing uh, more than you probably ever wanted to know about the nocturnal activities of Don Lemon, definitely mark off another hash mark towards your diehard achievement. Thanks for watching.